This is a fertigation system built from scratch by Nature Inspired. Welcome back to our channel. Thank you for joining us on this journey as always. Today, we're building our first fertigation system from scratch. Join us as we go through the process. So as promised, we are setting up our fertigation system for plot three. And we are going to walk through this process with you. So Shalom, can you say what it is that we need and just outline what are the needed parts for that? Alright, so <coughs> what you'll need is um wait okay. You would need a so what you would need to set up your fertigation system now depending on the measurement for the main line um, we have a 50 mm which is around 2 inches I think main line so you're going to need a lock off for that and then um, it's going to make a loop around the line so everything on one side will be the same on the other side so I don't remember the name of this clamp but it's a clamp that will allow you to gain access to the water source you want to take it out and show what it looks like yeah so this is it so this is the rubber that we're doing here and this will be the clamp around the 50 mm main pipe and you can see the water will come through here and then the rubber the washer will have to be in there and then yes the screw as Sabana is saying you need a screw it's a clamp so you need a screw on this side and this side so you need two because everything you do on one side you have to do it on the other side then going to need a what do you know what I'm calling this um <laughs> guys say the pipe <laughs> but it's a look like it's a male adapter to screw into the clamp and then from that it will go into a lock off so you have two lock offs one on this side and then one on this side that's guy showing you and then up to the top Excuse me. You need an elbow at the top on both ends, and then a connection to this black thing right here. Pass the receipt because I don't remember the name of it. Guy <laughs> says a pipe again. <laughs> it's a V name. Wait. <coughs> it's on the receipt. It's called a Venturi. Yes, a Venturi. So this is a. I think it's a half inch or one inch venturi and there's a direction on it so this direction will tell you the direction of the water so if the source is coming in like that it will come up in the system come through here and pass down here and then it would actually um don't want to say suck <laughs> But that's what it was. <laughs> that's that's the process. It would suck the ferti fertilizer, the dissolved fertilizer through this piece right here and it will continue in this. So you can say line. what you want to say. What is it you want to say? The pipe yes. is going to go at the bottom. A Correct. At the bottom right here. So you can remove the bottom part so them is not one system. Well yeah. So in here the one so there's a a screw inside and a ball and a washer so the ball and then there's a screw yeah so it's like a closed system but this is connected to a hose yeah this is this part is connected to the hose the hose that leads into the the yeah. container with the fertilizer dissolved and most importantly you're going to need two 
pipes. So the pipe is going to be the connector for the different parts that I mentioned earlier. So let's go. <coughs> so we decided to build our own fertigation system because as you know from previous videos, we have one area that has the potential for three plots but it currently has only one fertigation system listen in life as a man as a married man as a father as a man in general if you have a woman you can't have a man come here you can't have come in work <laughs> so you need all the tools <laughs> so our aim is to have each plot have its own fertigation system so that the fertilizer is distributed better over the plot so we've tried many sources we've been referred by some persons even the persons who have leased us the land um, to persons who would have done it for them already but we weren't successful in finding anyone to do it for us and so we decided well we'll do some research and build our own as a man it doesn't take it that long to cut that now. <laughs> Daddy! Make sure it's done Daddy, properly. Daddy, <laughs> man, you have to make sure it's properly done. <laughs> okay, let's come in and let's lay a pipe. Any, any, oh. So, from our investigation, we um realized that we needed to get some individual parts and so we bought them and we got them to buy at evergrow well a lot of the parts are simple that could be found at any hardware but the main section um that's the part that's that was very difficult to find and we found it at evergrow Hmm? What? What? How did you know? Because no. Why you say the black thing name again? Venturi. Why you use a giant Venturi to the pipe? Venturi. Huh? Why you use a giant to the pipe? Um, this it's a female. I call it threaded coupling. Oh. Yeah. Attend the four. That is four. That is four. Tangent. I need to clean the pipes. So I cleaned the pipes already. So it's just the tangent. Oh, one thing. If you wanted to set up the fertigation system in more than one location. We're well, not set up, but use. Yeah, use. You could set up this pipe. And I guess you could put the, the lock off lower right down here and you could put these couplings right here now what would what this allows is that you can just disconnect the top 
piece from the bottom piece and then you could just transfer this piece which is the most important part of the setup to a next setup and you could do your fertilization there I think you need it below the lock after Oh yeah. The lock has no fair part in it. You need a lock off going into there. Oh. Oh maybe that is it to the other part to the lock off. Up yeah. to the lock off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright. I want to help you, Daddy. Alright. So don't you live now? Give it give the bag to daddy, huh? So the most important part of this system is the venturi um, and it's also the most expensive part the venturi costs us about twelve thousand dollars plus tax jamaican dollars um that's close to 100 us <laughs> and what it does is the part that it would assist well it would allow the system to be able to suck up the 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 the, um, the dissolved fertilizer and then channel it into the um, irrigation system so for us for nature inspired farms the fertigation system is an integral part so if you have if you have uh, the privilege of having running water or piped water to your farm then it might be worth investing in a fertigation system especially if you plan to farm on a large scale because what it does it allows you to be able to fertilize your entire field through this system because it just takes the dissolved fertilizer and transfers it into the the drip irrigation system whereas if it would be difficult for a large farmer to supply all the nutrients needed, needed by the plant especially on this plant that we are using by using by hand feeding the plants with fertilizer so for us the fertigation system is very important and so we're thinking about getting a fertigation system for each plot because while we might be able to use this one that's a little further for the additional plot it might become less effective with the distance i'm stopping it from moving daddy very good baby wait let's keep it that way good girl savannah you're so helpful Okay, we'll stop now. So, you know, as we go along, we are developing new skills because as farmers, we have now developed a plumbing skill that can be used on the farm. And if we had gotten someone to install this, every time we need one to be installed, we'd have to get somebody to come back. So now that we've learned how to do it, um, it's much better for us as we go along we continue to learn more and we're happy that we're learning it with you and we can all share our experiences as we you often do in the comments which have been very useful to us over the past months we've learned a lot and we we actually cherish those comments because there are things that we are now doing on the farm that we can see making a difference that we've actually learned from this space so thank you for your input we're actually surprised at how much we're learning at the farm and things that we're now able to do by ourselves um it's 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 really true what they say you learn by doing and as we do it we learn more we are mommy yeah. mommy and daddy Excuse me, baby. I'm doing it too. Okay, no, don't use that one, baby. That's that. We don't, we don't need that one. Okay, we're going to use the red one. That's for another view, alright? You want to go ahead and let it put on the tangent? Go ahead, let it put on that. Hold the pipe right here. Where? Just hold it like this, okay? Very good. You're a team. Spin it. We 
Daddy, mm -hmm. I don't need the white one. No, you don't need any more. We have enough of the red one. So this is it guys, this is our fertigation system from scratch and this is for our new plot of peppers that we've just planted and they'll be able to get their own nutrients and get it effectively. Um, as soon as we install, we'll also do a video showing you the installation of it and we are going to show you, uh, we're going to have a planting video for you as well. Thank you very much for joining us. And again, we look forward to your comments, your likes and your shares. Thank you again and see you soon.